fuck. And more corrupt, crooked, crooked, corrupt, crooked clock. Yeah, yeah, LA City Councilman. Yeah, a few of them have certainly gotten into legal trouble. We all remember Mitch Englander. I think he's out of uh, prison. Yeah, sort of in time for his vote. And that also involved casinos in Vegas, didn't it? Yes, it was uh, money, casinos, and hookers. Well, it looks like Jose Weezar just preferred casino chips, which is, was like a money laundering operation, if you believe this case being put together by the FBI, because he would take the casino chips he got from this wealthy Chinese developer and cash it in. You see, that's the money laundering. So we were talking about how in July of 2015, he came to the attention of a casino in Las Vegas called the Palazzo because he was arriving with a very, very wealthy developer, a man by the name of Wei Wang, who had lost millions already. He was considered the highest of high rollers. He got the presidential suite with a $7,000 nightly rent. That was real. Six million dollars in cost, the Palazzo gave Wang. Six million. It's got a grand piano, massage parlor, a bar, a dining room, a massage parlor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's some uh, girls involved. So I think the first big mistake we saw made was arriving in the jet one day with Glenn. They looked him up. They couldn't find that he'd ever spent anything at the casino, but they realized he was a pet, which stands for politically exposed person. And you have to file paperwork when you're a pet. That's so, the casino rule. They assumed he was laundering stolen tax money at the casino. That's why they had to get him to sign a document claiming he wasn't. Well, he wouldn't sign the document. <laughs> In fact, they escorted him out of the casino because we are stared at the pet papers and refused to sign them. <laughs> wait, wait. So, <laughs> I can't spend uh, tax money on uh, gambling? No. It says no room had been reserved in the councilman's name for these stays, but it was unclear whether he actually stayed in Wayne Street, that presidential suite I talked about. So he uh, supposedly he originally offered these are hotel rooms, expensive spot treatments, and prostitutes. There you go. Sorry, 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 but sorry, they didn't sorry. specify whether or not these are accepted. See, you think, yeah. you think he turned them all down? Mm-hmm. Hey, you think he over the list? Yes, 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 hotel yes, rooms, expensive yes, spot yes, treatments, yes, and prostitutes. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wonder. <laughs> we don't know if he accepted them, huh? We have no um, idea. On three of this man's trips to the Palazzo, Weezar did fly on the hotel jet. And uh, they found that Weezar had never bought any of the casino's gambling chips. He never purchased any. His total lifetime loss at the Palazzo was a zero. But he cashed out $36,500 in chips that... Someone else had bought, and, and he took the money. Right. See, wonder who that someone else was. Yeah. Yeah. So that, so that Wayne, yeah. who has the 77 story tower, proposed, and we are district. You know, when the FBI does uh, this kind of prosecution, they have all the evidence. Everything's there. Uh, we are the lawyers can just squeal all they want. Well, we don't know. They haven't proven this. Uh, we're not aware of that. It's, yeah, they they you know, they'll have to show exactly what Weezart did for the developer to move the path. They don't build it. They don't go after big fish like this unless they have uh, an iron flag case. So they're saying that when it was all added up, the developer gave Weezart more than 53 grand in parts of chips to play before the July trip. And the months that followed, he would uh, ply Weezart with 141,000 in additional chips during all his trips to Vegas, at Caesar's Palace, the Cosmopolitan, the win and then back to the Palazzo. Right. And he, he would uh, hardly use any of the chips and then take all the cash home. That's right. That's how he money laundered. He'd go to the, the cashier's window and exchange him for money. And as I mentioned, the computer system alerted dealers that he tried to use his player's card. Uh, and apparently that's what happened one night. They saw that he was there and he was playing and they arrived with the paperwork. And by the way, dealers saw the developer passed 65 grand in chips to Weezar that night. Do you know how many cameras they have on these tables? They, on. They, they, <laughs> I mean, they, if they, you look up, you can see them. You just yeah, you can see them. Yeah. And they're all over the floor. So everything he did, all the shenanigans with uh, with the developer and passing of the chips, 
and the cashing out of the checks, it's all on video. He can't deny he did all this. So then they have video reviewed by the FBI that shows Weezar eventually makes his way to the main casino floor with his special assistant, George Esparza, and a man by the name of Ricky Zhang, who's executive director of Wayne's development firm, and Weezar handed his player card to the dealer at a gaming table. The dealer swiped it, saw the alert, and that's when a senior credit executive came out with the pep paperwork that Weezar refused to fill out. You know, Weezar is, is such a dope. He really because, is. Because if you're going to take bribe money, you've got to have the developer wire the money overseas to some country that has no banking laws, some country that, that there's no extradition. Or there yeah, you no, can disguise your identity right. you know, uh, having that account in that place. You have to money launder it through uh, the Cayman Islands. That's what you do. But you go on camera multiple times with the developer. You sit at casino tables. They have it on video. You taking tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of chips. I mean, what a boom. Well, and he's not a ruler, so he flies on the private jet. Of course, the casinos want to want to know who's coming with this guy. And there's there's paperwork. I mean, they know exactly what days. And you you can see the prosecutors are going to say, but it's like, well, so well, not that he's going to testify in his defense because he's guilty, so he can't do that. But well, Joe, Jim, why did you keep going? You never went to a casino before. You never bet any money before. So now you're taking money and, and, and hanging out at a casino with the guy who's got the 77-story tower uh, up for development in your district? So all oh, of this no, no, no. Got, the, got the attention of the FBI, and that started this big corruption scandal. As I mentioned, it's already got Mitch Englander in prison and four other felony guilty pleas involved in this. But this kicked off, this is 2015, a big investigation into Weezar, which eventually led to, the, uh, led to the charges against him. Remember, he wouldn't resign at first, but eventually he did go away. Yeah, and you're right. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Leone is now the, uh, he's, uh, he's one of the all-time stealthiest counsel. That's kind of right, so their right defense is going to be, there's no skyscraper, it was never built. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bribe here? What's the payoff for the developer? Yeah. Well, well, we'll, we'll find out in the trial. <laughs> well, there, there, there was a payoff. You, you don't wait until the uh, tower gets built before you uh, file the charges. All right, we got more coming up. John and Ken, KFI, Deborah Marquez. Dude. The LA County Board of Supervisors has cleared the way to fire or punish county employees who fail to comply with the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. The board will again review the proposed rule changes ahead of a final vote scheduled for mid-March. SoCal Gas may have to pay the state a $9.8 million penalty for using its customers' money to fight efforts to adopt efficiency measures. A group representing the Sierra Club says the utility worked to weaken building codes designed to encourage construction of new all-electric homes to help reduce climate change. Canadian doctors are writing prescriptions for fresh air and wilderness. Patients are starting to get passes to national parks instead of medications for a more natural way to treat health issues. The Parks Initiative, that's P-A-R-X, is similar to the Park Rx program in the U.S. that partners with state and local parks to provide patients with prescriptions for time outside. There aren't any specific activities patients have to do. They just need to be outdoors and in a park around nature, and that would be enough. Studies have found that time in nature can lead to all kinds of health benefits, like lowering stress and increasing self-esteem. Brian Berman, KFI News. <laughs> year's Winter Olympics are cold. NBC is on track for the lowest rated winter games in history. Friday night's coverage of the games in Beijing, which included the opening ceremony, averaged 12.8 million viewers. That number was 27.8 million for the last Winter Olympics, which were held in South Korea. <laughs> to get their monkeys in the mood. A Marvin Gaye impersonator has been hired for the job. He sings sensual stuff, including sexual healing and let's get it on. The director of the park where the zoo is located says it's a fun and creative way to encourage the female monkeys to show affection to the male monkeys who have been unlucky in love. We have 
have a crash on the five in Castaic. Southbound side of the five, several miles before you get to Templin Highway. The three left lanes are shut down here, and things are backed up all the way out of Pyramid Lake from Vista Del Lago. If you're making the ride into Whittier, 605 northbound side at Rose Hills. Got a stall big rig still blocking the far right lane, so that's going to jam things up back at around the 105. Southbound 605 also seeing pretty heavy delays from Beverly over to the 5 freeway. Northbound 405 just beyond Mulholland. Still got a stalled car blocking that middle lane. Things are jammed up coming away from Santa Monica Boulevard. Southbound 405 is going to slow from Santa Monica Boulevard to La Tijera. And if you're heading into Riverside, northbound side of the 215 in between Central and MLK. South Train says the right lane coned off and delays start back at Cactus. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jay Olin. Well, we know that refinancing your mortgage can be a real nightmare. Not with Cake Mortgage. They make it easy. Yeah, well, what about all that paperwork that comes with it? Not with Cake Mortgage. Their paperless process makes it effortless. And they can deliver on their advertised rates. Yeah, Cake delivers. The rate they give is the rate you get. And if you have a current rate quote from another lender, they'll beat it or they'll give you $1,000. Now, think about that. Sounds good. 1000 bucks. With Cake, there are no hidden fees. Your loan can close in as little as 21 days. See how good it is? It's getting even better. If you're looking to refinance or need a new home loan, Cake Mortgage, the only option. Today's lower rates will not last long, so you have to call right now. All right, don't just sit there, buddy. Give them the phone number now. 877-818-CAKE. 877-818-CAKE. Get your personalized rate quote with no social required. 877-818-2253. CakeHome.com. Call them now. Time's running out. Equal housing lender licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. Not licensed in all 50 states, including New York. Visit CakeHome.com for licensing terms and restrictions. Southland weather from KFI, sunny, warm, and windy tomorrow. Highs mid to upper 80s for Metro LA. Low to mid 80s in the valleys, around 85 for inland Orange County, 80 to 85 in the Inland Empire. We lead local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Deborah Mark. It's Fit and Safe Hail to the Sleep Sale. Right, Dad. Hail to waking up feeling rested and rejuvenated. And hail to saving over 50% off beauty rest, you and Kingstown. And with your good credit, sleep interest free for 24 months with your minimum monthly payment. Plus, save up to $500 on temper, ergo, and adjustable sets. So say hail no to tossing and turning night after night. And hail yes to sleeping your best during sit and sleep hail to the sleep sale. So this president's sale, trust your sleep to sit and sleep. Ever since I got the Purigan Water Whole House Filtration System, all I ever hear is, wow, this water is really great. If you live in Southern California, you're getting chemicals in your tap water. Purigan removes the chemicals and gives you good minerals that make your water taste delicious. And no hard water residue on your glasses or shower door, that alone is worth it. Get Purigan for zero down and no payments for three months. Call 844-80-WATER, 844-80-WATER, or go to PURAgainwater.com, PURAgainwater.com. Do you need new blinds or shades? Blindster.com offers custom-made blinds, shades, and shutters shipped directly to you at prices less than big box retailers. Blindster blinds are easy to install and guaranteed to fit. Don't overpay for new blinds. Shop Blindster today and save big. Blindster.com. Live the glory of the NFL and celebrate the conclusion of the NFL's biggest season ever at Super Bowl Experience presented by Lowe's. Tickets start at just $20 and kids 12 and under attend free every day. Download NFL One Pass to purchase your tickets today. Open now at the LA Convention Center. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. When my clients need solar, I call Sunlux. The best design, service, and equipment, and hands down the best warranty in the industry. Other companies sound confident, but Sunlux gives you real guarantees. If your solar ever fails to produce what it was designed to, Sunlux will pay the difference in your electric bill. That is the Sunlux difference. And it's why I say there are only two kinds of solar companies in Southern California. Sunlux and everyone else. Start saving money today at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. CSLB 1008374. I feel incredible because I called 1 800 West Medical. KFI. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Or stealing anything. Johnny Ken Show, John Cobalt, Ken Shampoo, KFI, AM640, live every, everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Well, I got something you're hyped up over now. You can always call the Moist line. We'll be playing some calls on Friday. 1-877-MOIST-86. 1-877-664-7886. We're going to have more on this later. Apparently, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors is considering what to do with L.A. County employees who refuse to get vaccinated. <laughs> Catherine Barger released a statement this afternoon that they did vote to have the county's Department of Human Resources assume the authority 
to enforce the compliance. Yeah, Bob. Now, does that mean that the sheriff's department apparently has, like, the highest level of unvaccinated employees in the county? Who cares? They're going to be laid off, or what's going to happen? Yeah, I, I don't think we need to lay off sheriff's deputies. That's not a good idea these days. What is this, another form of defunding poli the police backdoor way? No, that's these, interesting uh, theory. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, it, it's like by any means necessary with, with this uh, L.A. County supervisor's crowd. Do they have any sense in their head? Have they watched the news with all the crime? You're going to start fussing over how many antibodies the sheriff's deputies have in their system? Who cares? The, uh, the uh, COVID uh, epidemic is over. Done. And the vaccines don't work anyway on Omicron. So what's the point? What's the point? So Steve Craig is covering this story. He'll come on the air uh, later on in the show after 4 o'clock to see what we can make of this. I also understand and think that he's got some kind of an interview with George Gascon going on. That might be interesting, too, Barry. That's what I hear. Yeah. Boom. I'm being updated. <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Oh, by the way, just, uh, just for the record, yeah. uh, the uh, number of cases in L.A. County is down over 90% in the last three weeks. Down 90% daily case rate. Another variant's coming. Hey, I didn't know this. I saw a story that, uh, remember the, the 1918 Spanish flu? Yeah. That was still going in, in 1920. There was another round of cases, so everybody gets tired of it, though. I guess so, because it, I thought it went into 1919, but I didn't realize it was still... <laughs> well, it's like now. I think that two years is all people can take. And no, nobody cares anymore. Except, you know, a few fanatics and the control freaks. The people who have a stake in controlling people, and that would be the government, and the media has a stake because it's the way that they make money. But uh, nobody else cares. All right, so it's time to bugger the avocado, the avocado lady. I had one today, as a matter of fact. Yeah, well, you got to rethink that. If you're buying them at the grocery store, they're probably coming from Mexico. You have to have a social conscience. I do. About your purchases. I do. And it is ugly down there because apparently avocado growing can be quite lucrative. And a lot of people are doing it, and the cartels have also put their hands in the industry. But the problem is uh, they're, they're, they're wiping out entire hillsides. Vast pine-covered mountains have been cleared to put avocado plantations Oh, yeah, because I'm okay with that. You're killing it, the pine forest. And it drains local water supplies because that's a very thirsty fruit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not so good. People are going to so die of thirst. Some of the local people are fighting against this illegal logging. And they're going out there and they're actually tearing up the avocado uh, trees and plants and trying to revert the land back to what it was used for before, which is usually forest. It's also uh, attracting the drug cartels, and uh, the towns are being bullied by the avocado growers and the gunmen. I would just move on. <laughs> because the drug cartels are hungry for extortion money. So I guess they, they try to extort money out of the avocado farmers? Yeah. That's what they do. They want their cut. Uh, so in one area of Mexico, the farmers have agreed on a total ban on commercial avocado pork because they bring violence and bloodshed, Deborah Mark. Oh. People are allowed to have three, four, or five, or at most ten avocado plants to supply food, but they cannot do commercial planting in this part of Mexico. And the reason, he says, is that so much has been deforested that it's just barren out there, that people are planting the young avocado trees in areas where they ripped up the pine and the fir trees. I'm just going to get them at uh, farmer's markets, locally grown. I you think they are? Yes, yeah, they tell you. Oh, well, they can be lying. Why, why. why yeah. are they going to lie? You know how, how easy it is? Because it's a how good selling point to tell you people these are locally grown. People love that. It's so easy to manipulate West Side people. I say, oh, these are locally grown, they're organic, no GMO. Well, I think I'm not a West Side person. It could be, though. <laughs> so avocado growers, first they dig retaining ponds to water uh, the orchids. So they drain streams that were used by people further down the mountain. Then drug cartels extort money from the avocado growers. That's how it works. Nice country. Can't you oh. grow avocados in peace? You would think if you're just minding your own business, you have a small orchard of avocados, 
just trying to feed your kids. People would leave you alone, right? And down in a rural area of Mexico, not bothering us all, here come the drug cartel monsters. Because there's no government. One old guy, Salvatore Avila Magano, remembers how it was back in 2011 before there was a big uprising. He was scared off his property by threats from loggers who then clear-cut his land. The last threat was that if we showed up at the land again, they were going to kidnap us and we were going to be found in bags. And several people were killed and they were found in pieces, burned. That's how nasty it was there. Oof. His 45-acre plot was completely logged, but now, 10 years later, he's decided to replant pine trees, hoping to have something for my children and my grandchildren. But, a, but as I mentioned before, they say the story has become a miracle crop because small farmers in one of these Mexican states use it to actually make enough money to send their kids to college or oh. to buy a pickup truck. Okay, so then that is a good thing. So listen to this story. Uh, Guillermo Sacido, uh, he tried to lead some farmer patrols uh, to detect illegal logging and unauthorized avocado orchards. So he was trying to save the forest land. And he was speaking forcefully at meetings, and he angered the allies of the loggers and the avocado growers. And suddenly he ran up against drug cartel gunmen. A right SUV, a white SUV with tinted windows cut me off. Three people got out with pistols and rifles. They cocked their guns, pointed them at me. They started hitting me and forced me into a vehicle. They tossed a jacket and a ski mask over his head and kept hitting him in the head with the rifle stocks and the butt of their pistol. They kept beating me until they got tired. Yeah, they, he thinks that uh, they were mad at him for community organizing yeah. against the uh, avocado growing. You are now going to have a sense of guilt every time you bite into an I avocado. I just said, I'm going to buy them from local avocado growers. This guy wanted to bring some to the station, but with COVID, I didn't think that was possible. Why don't you go to his home and take a bath? Um, yeah, that I'm not going to do. <laughs> yeah. How don't. committed are you? Don't take, <laughs> not that committed. Don't take food from listeners. Don't go to their home. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm downstairs. I'll go grab it. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're so, listening. You've got to bite into the first one, though. That's fine. I like avocados. You're going to be the uh, show's food taster. That's Why fine. do you always think they're trying to poison us? Because they are. Why are you giving people ideas just in case they don't have them? <laughs> <laughs> What do you do, inject an avocado with some drug? Yeah. Any, I don't know how they do it. But it really wouldn't do, uh, if I died mm -hmm. after eating that avocado, I don't think anybody else would go buy from the guy that would bring the right, avocado probably. here, right? Yeah. So it would be bad for business. It would be bad for business. Yeah. It would also give us a lot of material. I know. You would <laughs> love that. But the cartels are known to do this. Everybody just thinks of them as being involved in drugs. And obviously there's good money in drugs, mm -hmm. but they've expanded. Yeah into all sorts of things and since avocados are a big export out of mexico they got themselves right in there to get a cut and it can get ugly and but the other part of this that's key in the article to make you feel guilty is the environmental toll all the water that's needed apparently what they did was the avocado uh, trees soak up so much water that they moved to another part of the mexican state where the pine trees were because it's more humid there so that's why they're cutting down all the pine trees to put up the uh, avocado tree. Well, you gotta have a strong government to uh, to uh, hunt down the bad guys. Uh, but in Mexico, they don't have a government. Here we have a government that just goes after good people. Good people. Yeah, they they go after uh, normal citizens. Yeah, and not the bad guys run free. We got more coming up. John and Ken KFI Deborah Marquez News. A woman has been killed in Valencia learning how to ride a motorcycle. The LA County Sheriff's Department says a woman lost control of the motorcycle last night and fell from the third floor of the parking garage at a mall. The LAPD has fired one officer for violating the city's COVID-19 vaccine mandate and termination proceedings are underway for seven others. Super Bowl Sunday in Inglewood could be the hottest ever temperature-wise. The forecast is 84 degrees. We'll go to the 605 next. Want to sell your house or condo fast and easy? You call Sellers Advantage and they'll buy your home as is for cash. Now let's talk about how this works. With Sellers Advantage, there are no realtor fees or commissions. There won't be escrow fees. You wouldn't have to make any repairs. There won't be any open houses without any strangers walking through your home. They're going to buy your house or condo for cash. David and Doug from Sellers Advantage bought a house from one of our KFI listeners. We'll have to suddenly leave. The guy wanted to sell, he met with some real estate agents, compared the numbers, and chose seller's advantage. Why do you 
Ali say he suddenly had to leave? Do you actually know that? It was, it was an avocado dispute. <laughs> he ended up with the same money, same bottom line. There were no repairs, no headaches, no open houses, no hassles. And he says working with Sellers Advantage was the easiest real estate transaction he's ever completed. Want to sell your home? You call Sellers Advantage. See how much it's worth. Call now. It's a free quote. Call 888-321-AS-IS. Call 888-321-SS, that's 888-321-SS. The RE number is 0196-1658, sellersadvantage.com. Do you need new blinds or shades? Blindster.com offers custom-made blinds, shades, and shutters shipped directly to you at prices less than big box retailers. Blindster blinds are easy to install and guaranteed to fit. Don't overpay for new blinds. Shop Blindster today and save big. Blindster.com. From the HMS Capital Weather Center, sunny, warm, and windy tomorrow. Highs low to mid-80s. This report brought to you by Blindster. We have a stall on the 605 in Whittier. 605 north outside, just beyond Rose Hills. And that's where stall daybreak has the far right lane taken away. I think it's going to be backed up overall coming away from the 105. Southbound 605, that's going to be a tough ride as well, leaving the uh, South Monte stretch from the 60 over to the 5 freeway. Still dealing with the mess, trying to get into Castaic, southbound side of the 5, a few miles before you get to Templin Highway. Crash here has the three left lanes taken away, and things are really jammed from just before Vista Del Lago. Making a ride into the Sepulveda the Pass, northbound 405, just beyond Moraga Drive. Going to stall here, blocking the middle lane. Things are heading from Santa Monica Boulevard and through Riverside, northbound 215 between Central and MLK. Caltrans working in the right lane, that's going to jam things back at Cactus. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jay Owen. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Hiring can be a headache. That's why there's Indeed, the hiring platform that removes the hassle. Sponsor a job and immediately get a short list of quality candidates. And you can schedule and conduct video interviews right on their site. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Buying a major appliance is a problem in 2022 because you're going to be paying more and waiting eight months or more for delivery. Or, hey, you could shop where I shop, WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. WDC secured millions in inventory before the supply line shut down. So right now, with high prices and delays everywhere else, there is a good chance WDC has exactly what you need in stock, ready to deliver. To find the WDC nearest you, go to WDCAppliances.com, WDCAppliances.com. Switch to Spectrum Mobile and get unlimited data for only $29.99 per month each when you get two or more lines. You could save hundreds on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, and fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator today. And in three easy steps, you'll see how much you can save. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Offer valid for new customers on two or more unlimited lines. Spectrum Internet required. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com for details. By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Cleveland Smith here from Service Champion Plumbing, Heating, and AC. Have you ever had a plumber to your house to fix something and felt totally vulnerable when they gave you an estimate? Is it a fair price? Is the estimate even for the right thing? I mean, really, how would you even know? Have you ever gotten an estimate only to find out later that it didn't include everything, so you end up paying more than you thought? It's frustrating. And if you ask me, it's totally unacceptable. When you call Service Champion for a plumbing problem, I'll make you a promise. Our technicians will diagnose the problem right the first time. And the estimate you get is going to be the final price you pay, period. No guessing, no surprises, no funny business. Just a guaranteed price up front and right. For call drains or any funny problems, call Service Champions at 833-777-7777 or at servicechampions.com. Today's smart money tip from Owning. Call 833-2-OWNING or go to owning.com to find out more about this amazing offer. The average 30-year mortgage stays on the lender's books around 8 years before it's paid off. So why do people take a 30-year loan rather than a 10 or 15? Lower monthly payments, of course. However, those lower payments come with a much higher interest rate. What if you can have the low interest rate of a 10-year loan with the low payment of a 30-year? Sounds smart, right? Introducing the Smart Money Loan from Owning. With a 1.99% rate, 2.589 APR, fixed for the first 10 years, you can lower your rate and payment and save thousands in interest. 
Call 833-2-ONING to lock in a 1.99% rate, 2.589 APR today, or visit owning.com. NMLS 2611, subject to credit approval. Savings may vary. Call 833-303-2169 for licensing and qualifying terms and conditions. Equal housing lender, not licensed in all states. NMLS, consumeraccess.org. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. I went to a Chinese restaurant, and it said on the sign, you must show your proof of vaccination. Didn't even ask. I have not been asked. One. I haven't either. If I was a restaurateur, I would make it very clear. Bill Handel. You're not vaccinated, I'll let you in, but it's going to be leftovers. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. Johnny Ted Show, John Cobell, Ken Shampo, KFI, AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Remember a couple weeks ago, a big story was about that former lecturer at UCLA. He sent some pretty incredible over-the-top threats, videos, statements. He was living in Colorado at the time, but they weren't sure, and they eventually arrested him. They had to shut down the school, frightening everybody there. They were going to come and shoot everybody. What a story that the Associated Press has unearthed about this man's past. It wasn't just at UCLA, where his behavior raised red flags with a couple of other prestigious schools. Uh, you talk about tolerance. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why. This well, morning. I think I know why. Got to with political correctness and uh, yeah, I think uh, they were intimidated. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll bring you the details after the news at three o'clock. Uh, we haven't played this game in a while, which is the John and Ken mugshot of the day. Oh, uh, if you want to see it, you go to kfiam640.com. I will give you a warning. It's a little difficult to look at. The John and Ken page features the mug shot. It's two men. But the man on the left is the one that will get your attention. His name is Alan Michael. One word. Alan Michael. Babota. He, along with a man by the name of Alan Huang, were arrested. They apparently engaged in a robbery at a restaurant in Irvine. It was all caught up. Oh, oh, this thing. Ugh. I didn't want to see that again. I saw that the other day. I didn't want to see it again. Ah, why'd you do that? It was a Korean barbecue restaurant called All That Barbecue on Culver Drive. And apparently they entered through a rear door armed with handguns, demanded the employees gather in the bathroom. One of the suspects stayed with the employees and demanded they hand over their wallets and cell phones. The other one checked the safe and cash register for any money, but apparently both were empty. Deborah, don't look. Bro. I have no interest in looking. Oh. He's missing it's an eye. Oh, God. I don't want to he's missing an eye and he's just, he's got nothing to cover up, whatever happened to it. Either that or they require you take off the eye patch because it's part of the official <laughs> mugshot photo. I was trying to figure out which because you rarely see uh, someone with that degree of missing eye and not have something covering. Hey. Why is yeah, it so disturbing? Is this funny? It's a crater. It's like, yeah, but it looks like some kind of skin flaps or film or something. <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny how uh, human nature, it's really hard to look at something like that. Yeah. Well, it is because it's like one of your worst fears, right? Yeah. You can poke an eye out. Hey. That's what it'll, you'll look like right there. Somebody's got to do a go fun to get an eye. Bye. 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 Oh. If you can, if you can stomach it, uh, the... Mugshot is on our website. Yeah, yeah. not not while you read it. Uh, now, speaking of crime, that's one of those things that lose my appetite. Like the big I, story besides the Rams winning the NFC title game over the 49ers was that a guy got knocked out in the parking lot during the game. And uh, from what I understand, he's still in a coma. 40-year-old Oakland resident Daniel Luna was in the parking lot around 4 o'clock. The game started at 3.40. So... Most of the fans were in the stadium. That's going to lead to a question about witnesses. But uh, according to those who have seen a video, I guess it's a surveillance video, although you think maybe somebody whipped out their cell phone to get a... But uh, according to the best reports we have on this video, a man by the name of Brian Cifuentes Alexis was shoved in the back by Luna. So he turns around, shoves Luna back, and then eventually clocks him, knocks Luna to the ground, he hits his head. 
Yeah, that's how people get badly hurt when they smash their head. You notice, the though, pavement. there's a lot less interest in this story once everybody found out he started it. I think so. Yeah. Because cause there, was a, there was a huge interest in the Brian Snow uh, attack. Uh, sure. Brian Snow attack 10 years ago because they thought Brian Snow had been jumped by a bunch of unruly Dodger fans. And then everybody found out, oh, maybe he started. So. Yeah, I mean, there were reports back then that it was uh, Stowe was mouthing off to the uh, Dodger fans, yeah. but he should not have been knocked he, to the ground. And again, it was, he was knocked to the ground, hit his head, it's the same well, kind of thing. If, he, if you do something stupid, like uh, start talking trash or, or shoving a group of drunk sports fans in the parking lot, I mean, that, that, that's Darwin. Yeah. Because all, so, all of those guys are dumb and unreasonable. And they're loaded up. So. They eventually caught up with DeFuentes in Montebello. He now has an attorney, an attorney that spoke out yesterday. I'm Dorothea Rodriguez. It's a shame that Mr. Luna's in the situation he's in. I think the city of Los Angeles has come out of support of him because he's in an induced coma, but that does not mean my client is guilty of a crime. I think Rodriguez admits Englewood. That's where it happened, and the mayor of James Bunch.